Stop asking for a show of hands. There's better ways. A list of the best live polling tools is coming up. Hi, I'm Cecilia, and I've been working in the event tech space for years. So if you are having a team meeting or giving a talk at a conference or teaching a lesson in a classroom, you obviously want to be exciting and engaging for the people that you're talking to. You'd like them to listen to you. I absolutely believe that live polling is a great method for doing this. Let's talk about it. If involving your audience and asking them questions and getting responses from them is a must, which I often think that it is, what is the best way to do that? There are a lot of amazing tools out there that let you get real-time responses from your audience. And you're probably familiar with a few of them. With those years of experience, I have picked the five best, in my opinion, live polling platforms out there. These are all things that you can create your live poll, your audience joins in on their device, whether it's a phone, a laptop, or whatever. And just a quick note about how we picked each of the tools. Uh, I had three really basic parameters for what was important for each tool so that they could make it on the list. The first one was how easy is it to use? Is it easy to kind of just drop in or how steep is the learning curve to setting up your first live poll and just rolling with it? Number two, how good does it look and how good does it make you look? Is it easy to make it pretty? Is it easy to design? And is it quick and simple to understand how to do that? Number three, how usable is the data? Can you export your data? Can you use it after the fact? Is it a valuable tool for actually understanding the data that you collected during your event? And the last thing that we're gonna go over for each tool is who is it best for? Who should use each tool and in what situation? So whether you have a large group, a small group, or if you're in a meeting, a conference, or a classroom, I'm gonna go over each tool and where each tool is best suited for you. So without further ado, here is the list of the top five best live polling tools. Number one, Slides with Friends. Number two, Slido. Number three, Poll Everywhere. Number four, AHA Slides. And number five, Mentimeter. These are, in my opinion, the top tech platforms for running a live poll with a live, in-person or remote over a video call audience. Option number one, Slides with Friends. Slides with Friends is my personal favorite. I'm biased because I'm working on it, but we also spent a lot of time learning from these other tools to figure out what was really needed and what were the best things that we could build and we built from there. So Slides with Friends has kind of everything that all of these tools have, plus a little bit more. My favorite thing about it is its designability. You can really pop in and create beautiful out of the box presentations that are also really super engaging and interactive. So the way Slides with Friends works, if you are familiar with PowerPoint or Google Slides, it's a very similar setup to that. It's a slide deck presentation builder. So you pop into the builder and you add a slide the same way that you would in PowerPoint, except for you can add different types of slides and there are different interactions. So for instance, you can add a multiple choice slide where you can ask people quiz questions, or you can add a live poll slide where you can have options people can select from them and then you can display them in different permutations like graphs or charts or whatever you want to do. Slides with Friends is really great for just being able to kind of pop in, create a beautiful and easily beautiful deck that you can then share with everyone. You can also like brand it a lot more than a lot of the other options. You can have your own logo on there and you can have people go and see your branding rather than kind of the Mentimeter branding or the Slido branding that a lot of the other tools kind of enforce you into. Um, so my favorite tool is Slides with Friends. I think it's best for those who are running meetings, lessons, or conference talks. It's really great if you want to kind of build a pre-made deck, like a PowerPoint deck, except for you want your PowerPoint to be a little bit more interesting and interactive and fun. Um, you can do all kinds of other fun, really interesting out of the box things with it. Like there's a soundboard where people can send noise reactions. There is like emoji ratings and all that kind of fun stuff that some of the other people haven't put together. So Slides with Friends, one of the newer options, but one of our favorite options because it's just so versatile and good looking. You can also export your data as a CSV. You can play with it and use it that way. It's super usable. Overall, my favorite choice. There are some other options for different settings and we're gonna go through the other tools that I like for different options, whether you are in a classroom or if you're like in a really large group and you wanna run like a simple Q&A, 
and we're going to get to those next. Option number two, Slido. Slido is great for really big conferences and in-person large events. So if you've got a ton of attendees and you're giving a keynote speech and you want to run a Q&A or a quick poll during your talk, this would be my pick. It's great for that sort of event because that's what they were originally built for with, were these large conference events. So that's where they really shine. It's also one of the earlier interactive event tech platforms. So they've been around for a while and they're pretty mature software. Uh, so nothing to worry about in terms of whether or not it's going to work in front of your group of 700 people, which is a big plus. <laughs> um, so the one of my least favorite things about Slido is their non-standard UI. So a lot of the tools on this list you're going to find are, are modeled after that PowerPoint structure. So you're going to create a slide deck and you're going to add slides like interactions. This is pretty standard and it's pretty easy to figure it out if you're familiar with Google Slides or PowerPoint. And Slido has been around for a while and they are not modeled off of PowerPoint. In fact, there's something kind of totally custom and different, which is more creative, but it's also more difficult to figure out if you're not familiar with it. So the way that it works is you would go to the site, you would create a new Slido, and then you schedule your event to happen. And that's the first thing that you do is you tell them when you want your event to be. The next thing you are dropped into in that UI is a page where you can add new questions and uh, interactions such as a poll to that live event. Then you would share a custom like string of digits with your group. They go to slido.com and they join in there to send in their response. So it's not completely confusing, but it's also not super standard compared to a bunch of the other tools and the way they're set up. But Overall, for Slido, I think this is a great option for larger groups and for in-person events. Option number three, Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere is also a little bit tricky in terms of their UI. They're more similar to Slido than they are to a couple of the other options. So you're not building an event that looks like a presentation. What you're doing more is you're creating these little discrete events and then you invite your group to join. They're called activities. As you add a new activity, you add your little interactions in your activity, and then you invite your group. So more similar to Slido than to a lot of the other PowerPoint-esque presentation options. Um, poll Everywhere is great if what you want to do is run a live poll with a group, either asynchronously or in a live event. Um, if you have a large group or if you're doing this kind of not not in a real event where everyone's together, then I really suggest Poll Everywhere for that. The only real drawback here is it's one of the pricier options. If you want to have a large group respond, you're going to pay more for Poll Everywhere than for some of the other more reasonable options. Poll Everywhere is one of the best ones, though, for just straight polling and like data export because they're really good with letting you figure out your data and uh, pull it out in a way that's super useful. Option number four, AHA Slides. AHA Slides is one of the up and comers. We really like it because it kind of is a great mixture of that slide deck presentation building uh, idea and that interactive idea. It's really great for if you're running lessons or if you have kind of a preset idea, the you know one, two, three events that you want each person to interact with because what you're doing is you're building that slide deck presentation the same way. My biggest drawback with AHA Slides is that you actually can't edit anything on the slide. You have to do it in a WYSIWYG next to it. And this feels kind of older in style and a little um, honestly kind of ganky. The, the functionality is great once you get in there, but you can't do any designing on the slide and that makes it feel a little rigid. That would be my biggest drawback for AHA Slides. Another interesting little fact about AHA Slides is it's basically almost identical to our last option, Mentimeter, but I think that they have kind of moved from Mentimeter copy into something that is really their own thing and they're doing a really interesting job. You can do a lot of designing, but you can't like move things around on the slide or edit directly on the slide. If you are running live events or if you are running like remote events, really recommend AHA Slides for those. Uh, not as good for async, and definitely good for teachers. So those are my big recs for AHA Slides. And our last option, option number five, Mentimeter. 
Mentimeter is probably the OG interactive presentation tool. I think they've been around for a long time. They really started this out as one of the more forward-thinking interactive presentation tools back in the day when you like had to have an app to do everything. Mentimeter is both old and uh, mature, so it's got like up some very like strong and it's been around for a while feeling where you're like, okay, I trust this is really gonna work. It also does feel kind of older, a lot like AHA Slides. You can't edit anything directly on the slide that you're working on. You have to kind of add the slide and then go to side menu to add options and that sort of thing. That's okay because Mentimeter is actually really super powerful. They have a ton of integrations. They've been around forever. So they have like all the little bells and whistles that you would want um, that might be missing from some of the newer tools and really great for if you have like very specific needs, like if you want to run a trivia game where the response takes an extra 10 seconds and then it adds, you know, points per speed of answer, that sort of thing. Mentimeter is really good for that where you have very specific needs. Design-wise, it's one of my least favorite. Overall, it's one of the more reliable and like older steadfast tools. So that's the Mentimeter overview. So remember our parameters, ease of use and understanding, designability and data usefulness. I'm gonna add one more price and I'm gonna break each one down and do an overall comparison rating for each tool out of five. So here we go. For number one, slides with friends, ease of understanding, five, we think it's one of the simplest and easiest things to drop in and understand. Designability, five, it is actually one of the things that you can design the most out of all of these tools. Data usefulness, four, this is where slides with friends doesn't quite match up to some of the other ones. You can export a CSV, but it's not quite as useful or dynamic as some of the analytics in say Slido or Poll Everywhere that are really shining in this place. And price, five, for slides with friends, the price here is actually pretty reasonable for especially larger groups and uh, a lot of people use it based on uh, that kind of middle and uh, very reasonable price point. Okay, number two, Slido. First one, ease of understanding, that's a four because uh, it is pretty useful and easy to understand, but it does at some points get a little confusing if you aren't already familiar with that UI. Designability, two, you can't really do any designing with Slido. Uh, data usefulness, five, they are definitely great with their analytics. Uh, price, four, three or four, it's a little bit pricier than some of the other options. Option number three, poll everywhere. Number one, ease of use, uh, it's a four. We, um, it might even be a three. Again, it's that un unstandard UI and you kind of activate an activity that you then have people join. So if you're not doing it asynchronously, it can be a little confusing. The number two option, designability, that's a two, poll everywhere. You also can't really do a lot of designing. Number three, the data usefulness, five, poll everywhere is super great for this. It might be my favorite pick for if you're trying to do a lot of little fancy footwork with all of the data that you're collecting. And last one, price to poll everywhere is a little bit pricey compared to some of the other options. All right, let's do number four, AHA Slides. Ease of understanding for AHA Slides, we're gonna give that a five. I think it's super simple. You can just add slides in there sort of the same way you do with slides with friends. Designability, that's a four. On slide designability, not so much, but you can add a bunch of images, you can add backgrounds, you can add all kinds of fun stuff that a lot of these other tools isn't able to do, like GIFs and that sort of stuff. So AHA Slides is really leaned into that sort of designability. So we'll give that a high score. Data usefulness for you can export some stuff, but definitely not as robustly as with Slido or Poll Everywhere. And price five, AHA Slides is the cheapest option on this list. You can do a lot for a little. Their free tier is super reasonable and robust. And so give AHA Slides probably that, that top score there for how cheap it is. And our last one, number five, Mentimeter. Mentimeter ease of understanding is Five. I think it's pretty simple, a lot like AHA Slides or Slides with Friends. Designability, that's a three or a four. They're a little bit less than AHA Slides, but definitely more than Slido and definitely less than Slides with Friends. Data usefulness, that's a four to a five. Mentimeter is a little bit better than AHA Slides in terms of how much you can export, how much you can use that data. And finally, price, it's a three or a four. Mentimeter is definitely more pricey than AHA Slides, but 
less than some of the other tools and they also have a lot more integrations and that sort of thing so you get what you pay for basically and then just to do a quick overview of what each tool is best for slides with friends i would recommend it for if you're putting together like a presentation for a meeting and you want people to do a poll during your meeting if you're having a keynote where you have a big presentation you kind of like bring in your PowerPoint slides and then you do interactions throughout. Or if you're doing like a Socratic type of lesson, those would be my uh, top choices for how to use slides with friends. Slido, best for conferences and Q and A's, they really shine there. Poll everywhere, asynchronous polling, that's what they were built to do. Aha slides, I would say they really leaned into team building and they do a lot of really like fun decks like that. Mentimeter, it's for meetings, it's very corporate, but still kind of, uh, kicky and fun and interactive. So that is my overall comparison. Again, I'm going to pick slides with friends every day, but you know, that's me. If you are doing it for some of these other things, I highly recommend checking out each of those comparisons and picking what's best for you. So those were our top five live polling presentation tools. I hope that was useful for you. If I missed something or you think, hey, there's something new that's really great out there, shoot me an email. I would love to hear about it. I love to look into this stuff. Uh, and I hope this was useful for you and happy presenting.